How you doing, Mr. Mayor? Hey, I'm an independent journalist. I'm gathering content for a story. I wanted to meet you firsthand. I this is my first time being here, so it's a it's a pleasure meeting you. Man. Thank you. Yeah, Appreciate you it. Uh, basically, I was born in Jacksonville, Florida, but I live here in Louisiana. Well, Lake Charles, of course. Our police chief is on vacation right now. So okay, okay. Chris will ride. He's going to get back and, you know, they'll be cooking for the poor folks. I mean, for the um, senior citizens. You know. Got you. Our mayor just passed away. Our, wow. I'm, I'm, the, I'm the interim mayor. I was just appointed in uh, February, I believe it was. I'm sorry to hear that. And I was man. mayor pro tem for years. Him, him and I have been was elected together 20 years ago. Wow. As a city councilman. So and, old friends. And, well, I, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> no, we were good. You know, good. This guy here from, How you doing, sir? Yeah, he, My name's Sean, he, man. He, nice to meet you. I'm a citizen journalist. Citizen Independent, of course. I ain't never heard of nothing like that. It's a beautiful thing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we've been chatting it up. <laughs> well, well, I told him uh, I work a full time job, but on my off days, I'm an activist. So basically, we're we're making sure that our First Amendment rights are respected, and then um, I get information for the public and I disseminate. Hey everyone, News Now Louisiana here, and I am back with another First Amendment audit, bringing you news in your eyes reach. Today I went to the Westlake City Hall to speak with Mayor Daniel Rocca and review the annual budget, which also I met Finance Director Jerry Melnier. I know sometimes public officials freak out about a camera. Well, not this time, guys. As you will see in this video, I was treated with the warm welcome and the utmost respect. I want to take this time to thank all of you for helping me surpass 300 subscribers. It is such an honor to be a part of the journalist community, and I am proud to call you guys my family. Thank you for the support. So let's continue to reach the goal of 500 subs. Hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, share, like, and comment your thoughts on these audits. And remember, the power of the Constitution will always be in the people. Later, guys. They have a drive through window. Never seen a drive through window at a city hall. So I'm going to go inside and get public record request forms. And I'm gonna get, I'm sorry, I'm gonna talk to the city clerk. So actually the lights don't even work in there. It's actually pretty hot. These are the council chambers. It's actually open right now. It's kind of dark in here. Hmm. Must be open to the public because uh, it would be closed if it weren't. So this is, I guess, the front desk that they're not using anymore. Yes, no. Hmm. So we have a couple of public information I could take from here. Services. How you doing, ma'am? Is the uh, city, the, uh, the mayor here or no? Let me go check. Okay. Oh, well, you say it, then I, I know it. Take a lot to get on your nerve. <laughs> Bye, baby. Okay, it's Southern Mail Supply. And we're, I've been doing one like Charles, like I said, all week. Because we're doing a job and I want to make sure we're doing yes, easily and all this way. Okay. Okay. And so, <laughs> he's right in there. Okay. How you doing, Mr. Mayor? 
I'm an independent journalist. I'm gathering content for a story. I wanted to meet you firsthand. I this is my first time being here, so it's a it's a pleasure meeting you. Man. Thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, basically, I was born in Jacksonville, Florida, but I live here in Louisiana. Well, Lake Charles, of course. And it's my first time being in the city hall. Of course, I need to do an open rec records request um, and talk to the city clerk about the uh, annual budget. But I wanted to meet you first, man. Well, I seemed like a cool guy to meet. Your <laughs> budget's in the process right now. Our clerk is okay. Uh, they are our financial guy right next door to the the the. the uh, so right. they could help me instead of yeah, the yeah. okay you know, okay. I don't know what you want. We just we we have budget meetings every every month every every month, and we had one this morning a budget meeting. Okay. All of our all of our staff knows about it. We keep everybody informed and that kind of stuff. I appreciate that, so, man. Uh, but uh, I don't know what else you're looking for. But you don't... Basically, um, <laughs> I, I'll explain to you what I do. I'm a citizen journalist. And I'm an independent journalist, of course. And I'm going to be doing work. I've already uh, went to the City Hall in Sofer, City Hall in Lake Charles. I've already been to the police station in Sofer, police station in yeah. Lake Charles, the and Central police, police Station. Our police chief is on vacation right now. So okay, okay. Chris Wilride, he's going to get back and, you know, they'll be cooking for the poor folks. I mean, for the Citizens, you know. Got you, got you. But anyhow, you know, I, I don't know what you're looking for, but you know, I, I, you, let me give you a story. Yes, I, sir. Our mayor just passed away. I, wow. I, I'm, the, I'm the interim mayor. I was just with a point in uh, February, I believe it was. I'm sorry to hear that. And I was mayor pro tem for years. Him, him and I been, was elected together 20 years ago. Wow. As a city councilman. And, so old friends. And, and, well, uh, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> no, we were good. You know, good, and, good. When he passed away, I was, and he became mayor, and I became mayor pro tem. Okay. So it was, this would be 20 years at the end of this, this term. Wow. And uh, and because I wasn't going to run, but I'm going to run now because, you know, I just have to keep on going. Right, right, right. But uh, and we miss him. It's terrible. He had a brain tumor. Come on. Yeah. And he didn't he catch it until, he didn't catch it until later. Oh, no, just this year. I mean, you know, it was. Wow. He just passed away. Uh, but let's see, I think it was December, uh, January. Oh, that's sad. And then February. I mean, January the 31st, February the 1st, I find it. But I was running everything, you know, all the right. time. Right, right. But I'm not, I'm not trying to tell you anything. I just want to no, I appreciate that. Here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And I appreciate we're, you we're, uh, we're stepping we're up to the plate. Our, our people, we, 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 we're trying to go through it. Right. Because the election is going to be in November. We're going to do that. But we're taking care of business. I appreciate you stepping I'm up to the I'm plate, a, man. Cause I'm it, a retired principal. Come on. School principal, you know. Here in uh, Westlake? Yeah, well, I've been about 40 years in teaching. I was a... I taught at Bob High School, and then I became okay. a counselor at Arnett Middle, and then an assistant president at Arnett Middle, and I finished up right here at Western Heights. Any military background? Oh, yeah. You Come can. on. <laughs> United States Navy. Come on. Well, I appreciate your service yeah. there as well. So, as I was saying... Um, I disseminate information to the public. I basically come to the government agencies and I ask questions. And where's your paper? Where's your news newspaper? Uh, it's actually a channel on YouTube called News Now Louisiana. Oh, <laughs> yes, sir. And and the thing is about it, uh, free press is underneath the First Amendment of the Constitution. So basically, anybody can be a a, a journalist and have interest into the public uh, entities who or pays you? who pays me. Yeah, I pay myself. <laughs> I work for myself. Well, how you get paid? How you do that? I work. I do have a full-time yeah, job. Yeah, I know, but what I mean for, for doing that? Um, obviously, it's not all about the money because, you know, I, I, I mean, it'll be it. nice. You know, I'm not going to lie. It'll be nice. Look, I'm going to get coming from. Well, uh, I would say this. If if we don't exercise our rights, we we lose them in a certain way. And then again, it's not really about the money for me. It's more about activism and teaching and educating people about their rights. And that's about it. And making sure that we're our I rights are respected. I guarantee you, we feel, our people in this city know their rights. I appreciate that. Yeah, that's definitely a, a good thing, I promise you. Okay. But, you know, a lot of people don't. And, you know, so educating you everybody. You know, being a school, school teacher and, uh, all my life, and, well, not in my life, but just working. I'm just, I'm just one of them kind of guys, you know. Yeah. I take 
take care of business. I appreciate you, know, you man. I have compassion. You got to have compassion when you work. Of course, of course. And I think uh, it takes a lot out of you sometimes when you're dealing with so many different yeah, things. No, and no, no, you know, the only thing different was being uh, there and being the principal of school. I don't have the power. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a, that's a joke. You don't have to whoop any kids, <laughs> unless they act like it. Huh? You want to talk to this uh, financial guy? He's well, our, he's our... Yeah, I'll, I'll go speak to him and uh, just look at the financial budget or the annual budget. And I look over that and I disseminate that, that information to the public. Then I get public records request forms and I ask for the process on that and then disseminate that information to the public. That's all I do, basically. And make sure that my First Amendment rights are respected. I mean, obviously, you respect them to 100%. I'll let you talk to him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> and what's your name again? Dan Rucker. My name's Sean, man. Nice to meet you, bro. Hey, Sean. Yes, sir. And I appreciate your service in the Navy as well. All right, man. You ain't got to be nice to me. <laughs> I mean, hey, that, I'm just a respectable guy. Look at this guy here from me. How you doing, sir? Yeah, he, My name's yeah, Sean, he, man. He, nice to meet you. I'm a citizen journalist. Citizen Independent, of course. I ain't never heard of nothing like that. Okay. It's a beautiful thing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we've been chatting it up. <laughs> well, well, I told him uh, I work a full-time job, but on my off days, I'm an activist. So basically, we're, we're making sure that our First Amendment rights are respected. And then um, I get information for the public, and I disseminate, pretty much. Right, yeah, right. and that's yeah. about it. But I did want to look at the uh, annual budget and get a public re record request form. I haven't finished it yet. You haven't finished it yet? Okay. It's well, I can come back at a later date. And I'm also, doing. I know it's online, too, but I didn't know if you had the hard copy. Mm -hmm. But if you're working on it, then well, I'm not going to stop I you from it. Okay. <laughs> the due date. Yeah. Okay. It's a work in progress. I understood. Yes, yeah, sir. You know the way things are going up right now. True enough. Everything's going up. Gas, food, milk. I see. I see. He's a. He's a. He's the main man. And okay. Have a seat. Well, I appreciate that. We really don't have a. We have the baseball fight, and the water you know, is, you know, Right. Yeah. And, uh, you know, and so we just, uh, we have these, we have the staff to do that kind of work. That's going to bring in some more jobs, too, so. Yeah, we have that paper. What about that casino? Are you ready for that? <laughs> Maintenance. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. Yeah. Understood. Yeah. So right now we have paid off Wow. That's good. And uh, I go this to uh, I'm retired the first place. Okay. So I go this to uh, the father of uh, the man who just passed. Right, he told me about it from the brain tumor. Yeah. You know, I came behind his death, but I was like, Come on. So he retired his son and he uh, left. And he uh, And uh, he wrote this and gave it to my son. So I thought, in 1981, Jeremy Milner, okay, tore out a magazine of a picture of a chick coming out of an eggshell with the caption, Go Forth and Conquer. The chick is coming out to face the new world without a clue of what the chick was going to face, but the chick was going for it anyway. Jerry gave the picture to the new associate at the CPA firm where Jerry was a partner. The new associate was Robert Ganny. Ganna? Jerry was in his late 20s and Robert was in, was 21. Jerry gave the picture to Robert in hopes that the chick would motivate Robert. Years later, Jerry had the page from the magazine drawn into the picture we have now. Robert kept the picture on his office wall and when he looked at the chick, looked at it, the chick would motivate Robert to conquer any challenges and not be conquered. At the time, neither one of us had an idea what the future would hold or paths we would take. But we knew, just like the little, just like the chick, that each day we would go further and conquer the challenges of that day. Jerry and Robert had lunch weekly, discuss life, 
and that was the beginning of the lifetime friendship. Jerry left the firm and became the treasurer of Calcasieu Parish. Robert stayed with the CPA firm and became the managing partner, which is a very, very big step. Time goes by like it always does. Robert and Jerry are now in their 60s and have both done most of the conquering that they were going to do on this side. So we think it's time to pass on the motivation chick to you. We hope the chick will motivate you as it did Jerry and Robert. And now you will go forth and conquer. That's amazing. Go forth and conquer. That's amazing. That's passion, man. Huh? Definitely, that's passion. Yeah. Definitely. Anyway, well, we'll, we'll continue this one Yeah, I, I enjoy talking to you, man. To be honest with you, I, I, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> I forgot why I was here. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, so I get the public record request form from the front desk? Or? Uh, I, you know, really, I don't know that. Okay. <laughs> I guess we'll go find out. I don't know if you like one. I mean, I just, I mean, I just don't know if that happened. Yeah, I believe you guys should have a form. Okay, uh, do you have a business card, by the way? Oh, yeah, I do. Yeah, I'll, I'll I grab that. I don't want to know that, man. Yes, sir. I got to highlight you guys, man. you so professional. I appreciate you guys. Yeah. She's a city Thank clerk. Thank you, sir. She's a city clerk? Uh, sir, if she wants to look at the budget, she gets an email. Like a public service request? Oh, a public information request? Yeah. A write? If you want a copy of it, and you can look at it, but if you want a copy of it, he can, he'd have to yeah. pay for the copy. I don't, I don't need a copy of the, uh, of the annual budget. I just need to look at it to look through a couple of pages, look at submission statements. I could do that. Sure. How are you doing that? Yeah. And a public record request form for, you know, basically any other information I may need in the, in the future. We don't have a form, just put it in writing. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So is there a reason why you guys don't have the form? Because normally there is a form for public record requests. We don't get very many of them. So that's the reason why you don't have the form? or Is I there? I can go create you a form. Well, you don't have to do that. <laughs> no, I just, just didn't know if you had one offhand. I mean, no, okay. No, just put it in writing what, what sure. you're looking for. And Okay. No problem at all. I can do that. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. If I can figure out the budget, we'll fi I'll, I'll let you know what we do. I appreciate it, man. I'll be back after the 30th. All right, thank you. All right boss. All right, guys. And that was our audit of the Westlake City Hall. <clears throat> Literally very, very professional people. And I appreciate them 100%. I must say, definitely a situation where, uh, you know, it was, a, it was a very good interaction from the mayor, or soon to be mayor, and the uh, treasurer. I appreciate these guys. They made my stay here very, very welcoming. Uh, I have nothing bad to say about these guys and I appreciate them 100%. So, um, yeah that's it uh share like comment subscribe thank you guys for helping me get to uh 260 subs i appreciate y'all i'm gonna continue to do this i will be putting out a new video every week as i said before i'm here to stay and news now louisiana out